there's a big debate going on right now with the LA Rams, and that is, who do you start at the quarterback position? Do you start John Wolford, or do you start Jared Goff? I thought about this a lot this week. I spent, you know, Monday, Tuesday, it's Wednesday today as time of recording, uh, really thinking about this and thinking about if, if I had the choice, who who would I start and why would I start them? Because I think that's the problem that people are not, an- that's the question that people are not answering is who would you start, but why would you start that person? I have seen some answers to this question. Uh, I have not seen an answer to that question that made a lot of sense to me where it kind of changed my mind because I have a, a name in mind. You guys will get that out of my segment here. Uh, but that's the one that I can't get answered uh, and no one has a legitimate reason. I tried to use an analogy for this one, so, so stay with me here. I, I'm going with the car analogy. I'm going with the, the car analogy that uh, Jared Goff is the Honda Accord while John Wolford is the Honda Civic. Basically the same thing, but the Civic has a little bit more flash. While the Accord is a little bit more family-friendly, a get-the-job-done kind of car, but nothing really flashy. Maybe its best features are heated seats and a touchscreen radio. Not bad features, but that's about the cap of the features. The Civic might have some modifications. Might have a turbo in it, maybe an exhaust, you know? Maybe maybe some bucket seats. Maybe it's a little bit faster. Maybe it's just a little bit... Maybe it's just a few modifications on that. They're really close to the same thing, but there are differences. One feels a little bit more exciting, while the other one feels just a little bit more stable. John Wolford is exciting for Rams fans. Jared Goff has been struggling. Wolford comes in, he moves, he runs, he makes guys miss, he makes the fans go crazy. Most rushing yards by a Rams quarterback since 2000 against the Cardinals. The Rams scored nine offensive points, though, against the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, the, a defense that ranked 18th going into the game, 14th in points given up. The Rams defense put up nine points, but that's not what this is about. We're not talking about the Rams defense in this segment. This is Wolford versus Goff, all right? The nine points that the Rams put on the board on the offensive side of the football, that was tied for their lowest offensive output of the season, tied with Week 16 against the Seattle Seahawks at Seattle, a game that Jared Goff started. The Rams' last offensive touchdown was in Week 15 against the New York Jets with 13.47 remaining on the clock in the fourth quarter. That was a touchdown pass to tight end Tyler Higbee. Neither of these quarterbacks were able to get the ball into the end zone in their most recent start. Accord versus Civic. Basically the same thing. One's a little flashier. Let's take a look at some numbers here. Jared Goff is a much more experienced quarterback. That was Wolford's first start, so of course he's more experienced. Jared Goff is a little bit more stable at quarterback as a dropback passer. He is fourth all-time in Rams history in yards, fifth all-time in touchdowns. His familiarity with the Rams wideouts, uh, that definitely helps him. We did see a time or two where Wolford looked like he may have been just a little bit out of sync with his guys. I'm thinking, you know, that that pass, the deep ball to, to Van Jefferson, followed by the kind of deep slant to Jefferson that he just looked a little bit out of sync on. Jared Goff has a higher completion percentage in his career, of course, one start for Wolford, a lower interception percentage, although Wolford does just have the one. It was his first pass. I myself am a little bit more confident in our air attack if Jared Goff is under center, even with his thumb. Uh, But there is something that, that John Wolford can bring to the table that Jared Goff cannot. And that is his ability to create yards and first down with his legs on a regular basis. This is an aspect that Jared Goff really just doesn't have in his game. It just doesn't exist in his game. Uh, It's not that he can't run uh, for the occasional first down. He may even drop his head and run into somebody and and get a first down or a touchdown. Uh, But it's no secret that John Wolford is far more effective on the ground. But that's not really what this is about. This is about who do you trust more in the wild card round on the road in Seattle when the weather is in the mid 40s. Jared Goff is just four of four against the Seahawks in his career, two of three, two and three at 
the Seattle Seahawks in his career. Three and one at home. The reason in this situation that I trust Jared Goff more is because Wolford was not just the first quarterback in the Super Bowl era to pass for over 200 yards and run for over 50 yards in his first start. On a Sunday after eating waffles while wearing shorts 33 minutes after listening to Vice Grip by Parkway Drive before the game. The stats get really specific. Uh, No, that's not all he was, though. Uh, But he was also the Rams' leading rusher on the day. Cam Akers, who, in complete fairness, is coming back a little early from a high ankle sprain. He averaged just 1.6 yards per carry on the ground. Cam Akers did. Malcolm Brown, however, carried the ball just three times. 20 yards. So over five yards a carry. Over six. Wolford was exciting. But he was also not more or less effective than Jared Goff. Yes, we do have a small sample size, and I can't wait to see more of him in the future. Not in the future as far as Saturday. For today, if I have my pick, I'm going with the guy who is more experienced, not only in the NFL, not only in the Rams system, but against the Seattle Seahawks in Seattle. I want that experience myself. This is basically 8 Mile right now. We got one shot, one opportunity. And uh, I want the guy with the experience, maybe not necessarily the Flash. For one, <laughs> I for one am not going to become a prisoner of this moment, of Jer- of uh, John Wolford's first start. It's not that I haven't before. I was ready to buy my Austin Davis jersey. I was ready... I was ready to go out and uh, extend Sean Hill after a 2014 game against the Denver Broncos. I've become a, I've been a prisoner of the moment before. We have seen Wolford in one game, one game where the offense did not score a touchdown, where he completed 58% of his throws for a rating of 64.7. I'm not ready to look for a trade partner for Jared Goff just quite yet. I liked him enough to be happy that he's our backup, but he's played one okay game. And if given the choice for a road game in Seattle in the playoffs, give me the guy who's been to a Super Bowl, not the guy who has one career start at home and wasn't able to score a touchdown. The road to the Super Bowl, it's very long. But when your options for that Super Bowl trip are to take your Civic or to take your Accord, you feel pretty good about being able to get there at least. I'm not trying to bash John Wolford. That's not my intentions at all. Uh, I just kind of want to bring Rams fans a little bit back down to earth a little bit, I guess. Uh, The attention on John Wolford uh, for winning that game, justified. Justified, absolutely. He deserves credit for winning that game. He deserves uh, credit for bringing an aspect to the Rams offense that we haven't seen in quite some time on the ground game from the quarterback. But to sit and say that you would legitimately prefer John Wolford to start over Jared Goff makes no sense to me. I will say, in this debate, if Jared Goff is not 100%, yeah, start John Wolford. Definitely. I would rather have a 100% John Wolford than a 70% Jared Goff. But once we hit the 85-90% Jared Goff... Give me Jared Goff over John Wolford, because I'll take that mind, I'll take the brain, I'll take the guy who's been to the Super Bowl, who's played at Seattle uh, five times, who's won in Seattle, who's been to a Super Bowl, who's played in this league. Give me that guy. Let's move on to the playoff bracket here. Uh, 